All right, so I just picked up this laptop, and this is one of those ones that I find this model or this year variation of these HPs, people throw it away for the silliest reason, and it's actually something as simple as a driver update. So this is what it is. It's the HP, it's the 15-AF131DX. Has the A6-5200 uh, processor, I believe it's the R4 graphics card on it. Not much of a gaming monster, but by no means, play, maybe play a couple of potato games on it. Comes with a 500 gig, hard drive I believe four gigs of DDR3 yes four gigs of DDR3 and that's pretty much it now it has the battery has the connector so yeah pick this up I think I paid like ten dollars twenty dollars can't remember but the reason why I paid it so cheap was the person said they upgraded to Windows 10 and they can't figure out what's wrong with it they said the issue that they have is that when they use it, it feels like the computer is lagging. It feels like it doesn't have enough memory, which, okay, four gigs of DDR3, that might cause the issue. But honestly, I have found that the issue with this is actually a driver issue. So this is what it is. So pretty much when you go to use it, it feels like the computer is at 100% CPU utilization. When you check it, it's not. Then it feels like, well, maybe the touchpad is bad. Because what it does is like every time you use it, it's laggy. The touchpad freezes up. The computer just kind of freezes and unfreezes randomly, very frequently. And it just kind of renders it useless. And all it is, is just upgrading the drivers on it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to upgrade this, put 120 gig solid state drive, put another four gigs of DDR3 memory in it, change the thermal paste, and show you how to fix that issue now if you're wondering on how to upgrade this thing this is one of the easiest laptops to upgrade and that's why when i see these things getting thrown out or dirt cheap i pick them up because um it's a really easy flip and there's some good bang for the buck on this one for this one all you pretty much do is get rid of all these screws over here take them out underneath these pads over here pull them back there's a screw here screw here there's two screws underneath the battery you slide out the uh, DVD drive and then you just pry this off with like a little prying tool and boom you have exposure to everything the hard drive is right over here. The memory slots are right over here. The CMOS battery is right over here. So if you ever have that issue, you could change that. It's a CR2032. And then the heat sink and the cooler is right over here. And all it is is four screws that holds it down. And you could change the thermal paste if you're having thermal throttling issues. So definitely one of the easiest laptops to fix. So let me get Windows 10 running on this. And then I'll show you how to make this laptop usable again. All right, so installing Windows on this, very simple, straightforward, nothing to it. And of course, going from four gigs to eight gigs does make a difference along with the solid state drive. So now I'm gonna talk about one of the issues that you run into with this laptop. Apparently these AMD A6, A4, A8 on these laptops, they have an issue where it kind of lags and hangs up. And let's see if we could get the mouse cursor showing up. It's probably not gonna show up on the camera, but pretty much when you go to use the mouse, it just the computer just hangs and even when you load things it hangs and even if you try to put in a different mouse and all that stuff and even when you check the t cpu utilization it's not even pegged out of 100 percent i've actually because of this issue have gotten these laptops for free fixed the issue and you know reflip them and repurpose them because usually the person's bought another laptop because they're frustrated with it but this is a really easy fix so if you ever run into these hps with the a6 a4 a8 definitely need to consider this because um easy fix easy money so what we're gonna do is i first ahead went to hp's website look at the drivers listing and all that stuff let me go back and what i'm going to look for is the video drivers which <laughs> surprisingly you would think that would not be the issue but it is the actual amd high definition graphics drivers you need to install these drivers once you install these drivers it will fix that issue and then after you fix that issue you can do all the updates and get newer drivers and everything but you have to install this driver first whether it's a mystery file in there not 100 percent sure but that is the fix so i've already downloaded it i put it on a thumb drive now we're going to go ahead and install it of course installing it is going to be tons of fun because we have this lag issue going on which drives me nuts all right let's click it all right let's go to next accept the user agreement next now remember the file number is 74716 let's let it extract all right let's do the install all right let's let that do its thing all right so let's make sure everything is selected which we have and let's click next of course accept it and this gets very annoying because this freaking hang up but it's worth it, I promise. 
let's let it do its thing again. All right, so it's installed and I don't know if you can see it, but as you can see, the mouse cursor is moving flawlessly. No lags, no hiccups. So this thing worked great. And now if you update to any other driver, you should have no issue with this. So if you run into this laptop and you have this issue, that is the easiest fix for it. You have to download the drivers from HP's website. Once you install those drivers, everything else will work fine. Even when you update to newer drivers, you won't have this issue. So let's reboot it, which we're doing right now. And let's talk. So in a nutshell, we've upgraded and we saved another laptop. The eight gigs of memory is a must along with putting in an SSD, and that's for any older hardware, along with fresh thermal paste, which I find helps with the fan noise and any potential thermal throttling issues. And also, if you run into these HP laptops with the uh, AMD CPU, A6, A4, A2, like I've talked about, the A8s, whatever they're called, then go ahead, get the drivers from HP's website. That will fix all the issues of the lagging. Guys, I can't tell you how many times people throw these things out because of that issue. And it's a really easy fix, but I guess it's an easy fix if you know what you're doing. So kind of keep that in perspective. What I'll go ahead and do is I will actually clean this laptop up, give it a good thorough cleaning, make sure it looks brand new, get rid of all this gunk and junk. And that way we can post this up for sale and flip this easily for probably about a hundred, hundred and twenty dollars Just depends on what the market is. Um, I'll get on the Facebook marketplace, eBay, determine what these things are going for, and then kind of gauge on what I could do to sell this for an easy, quick flip. So now, as far as the gaming performance with this thing it's to be expected, which you get. Um, it's not the most powerful. It's more of a budget friendly laptop. If anything, what I use these laptops for, I mean, yes, you could go the whole Linux route. That's one idea. Some people can game with that. But what I'll do is I'll play the old classic games, Monkey Island, Full Throttle, the old original Final Fantasy. It's just the older games. Um, I'm sure you could play Fall Guys and some other ones. But I mean, don't be expecting to go too crazy with CSGO and uh, Fortnite if they would run. Um, you can try it. I haven't tried them on this. This one is just more for an office one and that's what will make it sell quickly and for anybody trying to play potato games. So just kind of keep that in mind if you're looking for something like this for gaming. Another idea too is the whole retro emulation as these work pretty good for playing those whole retro emulate, uh, playing those retro games. Uh, you could get backups of your original quote unquote and pop them in there. I've done N64, which that one's hit or miss depending on the emulator, but some Super Nintendo, Nintendo, and other ones, and I've actually been able to get some good uh, performance with those and relive the classics. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see what we come up with next.